Hi, I'm Becky Soroka, and I'd like to introduce you to calipers. Calipers is the common name that we seem to call them. The technical term is academic dividers. It's a very simple um, and very handy tool for doing measurements when you're painting portraits. The device consists of uh, two legs, which are held rigid to hold that shape. And the measurements are done within the two needle points. On this particular type, which is the type that I sell, it uh, just operates on a hinge, which is very tight, and it's just the, uh, the pressure that holds the uh, legs rigid, where you just move in or you move out. Notice, too, that the points are needle sharp and they totally come together at the end. I'll show you another style. This is not a common style as far as being able to find them because I've never been able to find any exactly like them. But and the other style of caliper, which is common to find, operates with a thumb screw similar to this. These are just really small. Most type that operate with a thumb screw are about six inches long. This is only about three and a half inches or so. Uh, in any case, rather than being on a hinge, the legs stay stable by opening and closing with the thumb screw. Uh, these are a nice set because they have needle points easy to operate and they the points totally come together as you can see but again I've never been able to find any exactly like these here's what not to buy this is something that I mistook for a pair of academic dividers I bought them in Staples thinking that I was buying what I needed to get. I did notice at the time I bought them that the points, although they were pointed, they weren't needle sharp by any means. They're rather wide. The real problem exists uh, because if you'll notice, even though I crank it down as far as it'll go, the points do not come together. Um, when you're doing minute measurements on your portraits, you need those points to come together. So this type is not really suitable. This is not what you want. When you get these calipers from me, they come arrive very, very stiff. And it might actually concern you. You may think, oh my goodness, I can never work them. With use, they light, loosen slightly so that in most cases you're able to work them open and closed with one hand. What you don't want is you don't want to take them and oil them and really, uh, I don't know if you can loosen them up too much, but I can show you a pair that came from the factory that were defective. This is a pair that came from the defective from the factory, and you can see they just fall apart. The entire point is, as I'm going to be demonstrating, is to hold your measurement tight. You're going to measure on your study photo, hold that same measurement over here to measure to compare on your portrait painting, and if these move, you've lost the accuracy. So therefore, even though they're very stiff, that's what you want. You want it to hold despite juggling it. Keep your accurate measurement. Why do I emphasize that the needle point is so important? Two reasons, actually. For one thing, when you're dealing with trying to get a likeness in a portrait, uh, a variance of just a hair's breadth can make a difference. So you want the ability to 
set your needle points right specifically on a certain area. The uh, second reason why the needle points are so valuable is, of course, this is a fired portrait, but when you're laying these on a wet portrait, which is when you're really measuring because you need to check your measurements before you fire it, you can set that right on the porcelain and because the points are so small, it's not going to mess up your wet paint. Perhaps the concept of measurement sounds odd to you because you don't see any markings, you don't see inches or centimeters or anything like that marked on the calipers. So what do I mean by measuring? The measuring you do with a set of calipers is comparative measuring. And I've set up a really simple example here with two toothpicks. Let's just pretend that this toothpick is the width of the mouth on your study photo and this toothpick represents the width of the mouth on your painting. Now obviously if you put the two toothpicks side by side right together you would be able to compare the length of them, right? But your painting is wet and your study is over a little distance. And even when you put them side by side, you're not quite sure. So what can you do? This is how you measure. You put, whoops. <laughs> Let's put one tip of the calipers, each needle point, at each end of the toothpick or your mouth. <laughs> And this, we set, we have this set, okay, because it's stiff, the legs are stiff. And we're coming over here to your portrait mouth, and do you see on the left-hand side how that it is shorter? So at that point, you know that you need to lengthen the line of your, the width of your mouth on your portrait, because you have measured. So here is a very brief demonstration of how you work the calipers for measuring. I've placed the study photo in back of my portrait painting. Let's say that I want to measure the entire width of the eyes. I would set the needle points at the tear duct and at the furthest corner. My measurement is set because of the rigid points. Then I come down here to my portrait and I would set that down and see how it compares. Is it the same? Is it too short? Too long? Do I need to make adjustments? I might, in addition, um, measure the width of the iris at the lash line. Same thing. I might measure the height. The height. I might measure the distance between the outside edge of the face and the uh, outer corner of the eye, do the same thing. I might measure the distance between the eyelash line and the bottom of the eyebrow. I would measure the distance between the inner corner of this eye and the inner corner of that eye to check for the bridge of the nose. So you see how you do it is you find the feature that you want to measure, measure it on your photo, which locks the legs in, then come down and compare it onto your portrait. Make adjustments to your portrait as needed so that it matches the measurements on your study photo.